Hi everyone, today we're going to take a look at the softer parts of the song Haridan. We are in standard tuning and the song is in the key of B. So the bass is a five string bass and it plays uh, in B. I'm going to make a tutorial on that one too since I also have a five string bass. It's going to be lots of fun. And uh, we're in the key of B most of the time. Before the chorus we have this little um, interlude which goes uh, E minor. Uh, F and then ha, G ha, back to F so E minor then basically an F power chord G power chord that's the that's the bridge before the chorus and then we have the chorus which is pretty cool it goes okay so that's D major, A major, and then back to back to B. And we play the vocal melody along with the chords. So that is D major. We go two on the G string, three on the B string, two on the high E string. And then we take our pinky to the third fret on the high E string and we go we lift it up okay that's the that's the vocal melody okay when we bite the dust we will hide our cards from the world so we do the same on the A we bar second fret open A and then D G and B string barred and then we go three on the B string. So, when we bite the dust, we will hide our cards from the world. Then a simple power chord, two, four, and four. There's our B, so that's the chorus. Very nice and melodic. Uh, then later, we have um, a little lick where we go so simply the the vocal melody again okay so that is um that is the chorus then we have these um very snaky um lines they go Okay, so we have, that's two on the A string, open A string, then three on the A string, open A, and then four on the D string, five, and two. Then we do a slide to the 7th fret on the D string. Then 5, 4, and 2. 4. So, until there. So four zero so four zero two and then three on the A string. Okay, so that is the the first movement and then we go so that's B F sharp and F, so second fret on the A string, second fret on the E string, first fret on the E string. 
and then we go we go so on the on the low E string we go okay and then we go to uh, five on the E string which is an A we do a slide and we also move the string a lot uh, Stephen Wilson did that in his uh, gear talk video and then we go to the fourth fret which is then a uh, G sharp and then we add this um, major seven chord uh, Stephen Wilson um, explained in this video how in this context uh, the major seven chords sound more um, evil than they would usually sound right so here we have this very nice uh, G sharp major seven so it's uh, four on the low E string six on the A string and five on the D string Then we go to the G, same shape, but here we go, so it's and not, so. Then the same in F sharp, so another half step down, but we just uh, stroke the chord. And finally an E minor okay so the whole part uh, slowly Okay, then we have um, the quiet um, acoustic part with the chords. Now, this is interesting because at first I thought um, he plays a B minor. Without you to an, to an F sharp. I am in bed tonight. E minor, for love, F sharp minor, and G, love, F sharp, and what is left? E. seven once again so just we bar these three strings together with the open D string and then we go to the first fret on the um, G string the rest stays the same without you um, but I think that instead of this uh, regular B minor chord he does kind of like like a like a G sharp um, and not G sharp um, G major seven maybe. It's the time of the almost strain without you. I am in bed tonight. Oh, to I don't know. Um, it sounds as if. There is this this note also. I also don't think it's the bass. I think it's the the acoustic guitar. But anyways, if you want to play it with a regular um, B minor chord, that is totally fine. So B minor. So bar the second fret. Four, four, three. If you want to do the major seven chord, then just change the root note 
from here to here, third fret on the E string. Okay. So here we have F sharp, that means we bar the second fret, and then we go four on the A string and four on the D string. I am back to okay, back to uh, E minor. And then we have E, E minor again. F sharp, and then G major. So we bar the third fret and then five, five, and four. Back to F sharp and E, F sharp, G without you to the D major seven, and then to this very nice one. So you can also play the D major 7 here, but I don't know, it, it makes more sense to do it, to do it here. That sounds very cool. A little bit like um, a nice dream by Radiohead, they also have this. Uh, it, it's a bit different. Yeah, but... Or a bit like uh, pure narcotic, maybe. Was it pure narcotic? Uh, one of their older songs had um, a similar chord progression there. Okay, so um, that is the uh, soft part, um, the snaky lines, and the chorus. And I will also make a video on the um, heavier part. It's really cool um, that Stephen Wilson used this tuning where he just tunes down his um, his E string. To, um, to B actually, because the song isn't the key of B, it's the lowest note, and instead of using a baritone guitar, he just tuned the whole, just the, just the E string down, no other um, uh, string that he put on or something like that with a higher um, gauge or something. That's pretty cool. That's very nice. I like that. So yeah, that's um, most of Harridan, uh and the heavy, the, the heavy part will... Uh, will follow. So thanks for watching and see you next time. Hi everyone. Today we're going to take a look at the song Harridan, the heavy part. And uh, for this we have to tune down our low E string to a B. Gonna switch to a clean sound to show you. Uh, we have... Yeah. We have the low E string tuned down very low, like our B string. So Stephen Wilson explained this, he uh, just tuned down this one string because the song is in B, he didn't want to use a baritone guitar or whatever. So yeah, he just did this and the whole riff is basically just on the lowest string, which is pretty cool. And um, this tuning, just detuning your lowest string, tuning it to B, um, it's actually quite common. Uh, I made a video on this a couple of years ago called the Mastodon Tuning because Mastodon did this and they were the first band I discovered doing this. But there are also bands such as um, Tool that did this, uh, Soundgarden did this, I think uh, Periphery also. So this is quite common and it's a very cool tuning. I'm gonna put you the Mastodon Tuning link uh, in the description so you can check it out. It's very fun to compose in that tuning. Okay, now let's uh, take a look at the riff. Harridan goes like this. And so on. That's the other part. Um, gonna switch to clean again. Now we have the open E string. Gonna refer to it as the string. Then we have 10, open again, then we have 3, 10, 3, open again, and then we have this hammer on from 10 to 12. 10 to 12, so open, 
10, 3, 12, 3, 10, 3, 12, 3. That's the entire thing, okay? Once again. Okay, that's the riff once again. Okay, so the only th tricky thing here is just remembering which thing comes when, but that's the more you listen to it, uh, the better you will figure that one out. So that's the heavy riff in B. It's very nice. It really adds something to the song. I uh, really love how heavy it sounds. Yeah, and after that, um, we just have these... Um, I, I don't even think these are octaves. I think they're just single notes actually. So here we have ninth fret. I mean you can you can play it as an octave if you want. Doesn't really really matter, I think. So you have nine and we do this like a like a tremolo picking. Like we do this. Ten. 12, 13, and 16, okay? Yeah, that's how we how we do this on the um, on the G string. So twelve, thirteen, sixteen. So that is actually that is actually B again. Yeah, and once we're done here, we go back to and so on. Yeah, um, if I had to guess, I would say it's not played in octaves, but single notes. But if you want to play it in octaves, that's that's totally fine too. Yeah, and that is the that is the heavy part of Porcupine Trees Harridan. Very very nice. Um, as I said in the first video. I will also do a tutorial for the bass, um, since I guess the song is a lot of lots of fun to play on the bass. I think it's not as tricky as uh, Luminal, uh, which I also made a tutorial for, but I guess it's going to be quite quite tricky, especially for a non-bass player like me. So thanks for watching, and see you next time.